If equipped, Adaptive Cruise Control brings useful adaptive features to the standard speed control system. Standard speed control maintains a selected speed in continuous flowing highway traffic. With Adaptive Cruise Control, you can also maintain a set distance between you and the driver in front of you. Let's take a closer look. To activate standard speed control, push the standard speed control on-off button on your steering wheel. An indicator light will appear in your instrument panel to let you know the system is active. First, accelerate to the speed you want to maintain. Then, push and release the set plus or set minus button to set the speed. Take your foot off the accelerator and the vehicle will cruise at the speed you've selected. If you set the system at a speed above 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour, the set speed will be the current speed of the vehicle. If you set the system at a speed below 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour, the set speed will default to 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. You can adjust your set speed with the set plus and set minus buttons. Push and hold these buttons to increase or decrease the set speed in 5 mile per hour or 10 kilometer per hour increments. Tap the buttons to change speed in 1 mile per hour or 1 kilometer per hour increments. Tap three times and your speed will increase or decrease by three miles per hour or three kilometers per hour. Speed change is reflected in the instrument cluster consistent with your preferred unit setting. Unit settings can be selected in the instrument cluster or radio. To disengage the speed control, depress the brake pedal or push the cancel button. These actions will not erase your set speed memory. To resume your set speed, push and release the res or resume button. To disable standard speed control, push the on off again. It's best to leave the system off when not in use. Now, let's look at the adaptive part of adaptive cruise control. To turn ACC on, push the ACC on off button, then push set plus or set minus to engage. The system will now maintain a set distance between you and the driver in front of you without having to constantly reset your speed. The increase and decrease distance buttons let you change the distance between you and the driver in front of you. If there's no driver ahead, your set speed will be unaffected. But when a slower moving driver enters your lane, the system automatically adjusts your speed to maintain the distance setting. You'll see the sensed vehicle indicator icon in the instrument cluster. The system will maintain the set distance until the driver ahead accelerates above the set speed or moves out of your lane or until the system is manually disengaged. Now, if the driver in front of you stops, ACC will maintain your set distance and bring you to a standstill as well. If that driver starts moving again within two seconds, you'll resume motion without the need for driver interaction. If ACC stops you for more than two seconds, you'll have to tap the accelerator pedal or hit the resume button on your steering wheel to start moving again. If the driver in front does not start moving for an extended period of time, the system will cancel, the electric park brake will engage, and driver intervention will be required. Remember, ACC has limited braking power. The driver is always responsible for collision avoidance. To deactivate ACC, push the ACC on-off button again. It's best to leave the system off when not in use. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.